Hey guys, so um, I received my new wooden pallet in the mail just a while ago. I ordered one for my birthday actually. Um, I am used to using a glass pallet. I have no experience with wood pallets. Um, I think I tried using a wood pallet one time, like just a cheap oval, a uh, small wooden pallet from your from my local art store, and I um, had no idea to prepare that I was supposed to seal the wood with like linseed oil and let it soak and and uh, prepare the surface. So I just basically ruined it after one use. But that was uh, luckily just a very uh, cheap one there but this is um something that i've been eyeing for a long time so just wanted to uh do a little unboxing it's kind of a simple unboxing um and see how i feel about it compared to a glass palette okay so <clears throat> just gonna open it with a pair of scissors. I know a lot of people usually use knives in their unboxings, but I'm just gonna go with scissors. Okay, so New Wave Fine Art Products hand finished wooden artist palette. <clears throat> And that's the um, Expressionist Confidant. So that's the one that was available at my local art store. And I thought that it looked like a good shape. So I decided to pick that one up. Um, <clears throat> supposedly, they're handcrafted in Pennsylvania by the Amish there, which is very fascinating to me. Wow. Okay, so the first time I picked it up with the plastic on, I felt that it was super light. Um, just in my last video, I was using my glass palette. Um, and that one's from Geneva Fine Art. Um, that one I use basically on a table, so it doesn't really matter the weight. Um, this is supposed to be carried in the hand yeah I really like the finish which I didn't really get to feel when I it was in the plastic I just I just felt that it was light I wasn't really sure what to expect but I definitely feel that it's a nice quality finish And it has a stain smell. <laughs> kind of funny that I noticed that I noticed that. I'm just gonna flip that around. So on the back it just has the uh, handcrafted their stamp. Really liking the finish actually. Super light. Um, although I really personally don't have much experience comparing them. Gonna have to see how to hold it because supposedly they have a really good bounce on this, but I'm I'm having a bit of trouble. That might be just because of my lack of experience. <clears throat> so. Yeah, so far actually I really like it. It feels definitely like a quality product. I personally, as an artist, like the idea that it's handcrafted. Um, maybe I just am looking too much into it, but I just feel like, you know, there's more of soul when, when things are handcrafted. I definitely appreciate it as someone who is uh, learning to paint. So I'm going to experiment 
with holding it and how to balance that and I'll see and I'll update to see uh, how I feel about it. Okay, so playing around with this and then seeing the photo as well. Definitely, um, as someone who uses a glass palette, I'm used to laying everything flat or even like perceiving it as flat. Um, but I find that when you hold it in the arm, you definitely need to have an upward angle. Almost like very much more of a slope. So that was something that I noticed to get the balance. Um, I'm curious to see um, if I would get tired always holding that. But anyways, so taking a look at the packaging, it mentions improved color and value gauging, enhanced mobility, strength and focus. They have a particular three point design with a resilient finish. And it's supposed to handle uh, artist solvents and mediums. Another thing that drew me to the wooden palette was the sort of the charm that I saw when like for example they have people have their palette set up along the wooden palette and then like as they would use it and, and <clears throat> clean it and sort of rub in their pigments over time it would cre create this uh, beautiful sheen. So I am curious about that. I might have to do an update video. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because um, I just have uh, concerns about it being wood just because I'm used to a glass one. I would usually just basically use a scraper and, and scratch off um, any pigments that dry on it. I'm a little bit kind of hesitant when it comes to a wooden palette just to see how um, diligent I have to be with cleaning it right away before letting anything dry. So that's sort of a thing that I'll, I'm thinking about. Um, I'm also <clears throat> wondering if I should still rub in linseed oil after uses. Um, it does have its own finish and it is like it comes ready to use. I'm just curious about um, if I'm supposed to keep the moisture of the wood or if it does say on their video online that basically just using an art artist solvent they would just wipe it off clean and it should be good to go and it does say it's resilient to that um, so definitely I will be experimenting and seeing how it holds up okay so I ended up spending some time figuring out the color arrangement on my palette um, I ended I was researching a lot of different systems and a lot of different artists thought about how to arrange it but I went with um, the darkest dark on the left here being uh, ivory black and then it gets cool down downwards and warmer upwards and then lighter to the right so it kind of um, goes from dark to light this way and then I felt that I liked the idea of mixing from dark to light and so Arranging it like that seemed to best make use of the palette space as well and just felt quite intuitive. Um, I ended up including spots for colors that I don't have but I felt uh, would be cool for me to test out in the future. Like for example here I just mixed a really light blue but I was thinking that I would try a cerulean blue or like a king's blue or a cobalt blue. So far I just have uh, Thalo Blue and then the Radiant Turquoise was a recommendation by um, an artist named Charles Hu and then which is just a really light faded 
blue from white so I just felt that it would go from warm to white and then back over to the cool blue side. Um, in terms of the palette, there's more of a grit than compared to the very smooth glass that I'm used to. Um, when I wipe it down, it does leave like a, a stained color. I think it's, it's just from the oil. And I think eventually uh, with mixing all of the colors, it should turn into like a neutral color. Um, but I might also experiment with rubbing in a uh, canvas toner. So Geneva, Geneva has a uh, kind of a canvas toner uh, paint. And I was thinking that I would rub that in to darken this um, palette just because my outdoor glass palette has that particular tone and it's much darker and I'm just used to that. So I'm curious about that. Um, overall, I'm really impressed with the uh, quality and um, it's definitely very awesome to see uh, it all fall into place and what it looks like I was kind of dwelling on the setup for quite a long time but uh, I will probably do an update video um, seeing how I go along with the uh, wood palette instead of glass okay so this is the um, foundation layer by Geneva artists uh, Geneva Fine Arts and um, this is what we're talking about in terms of staining <clears throat> a white canvas with this as a neutral color. I was wondering how it would work on this palette. So I'm, I've never really, I actually bought this a while back, but I never got around to using it. I just kind of coat my canvas with some burnt umber or like a transparent orange so I'm curious um, and I'm just going to uh, see so let's see well it definitely felt thin when I was shaking it, so that makes sense that that would happen. I'm just going to put that away. I hope that didn't get on me, but anyways. I'm just going to try to rub this in and see if it changes. The color to help me tone it. I'm hoping that this does not have clove oil in it, which I don't expect it to because it mentions that for this palette not to put clove oil on it. It's usually just it's usually just for preserving paint, so I'm assuming it won't. But uh Okay, it darkens a little bit. Um, I've seen um, someone on YouTube actually just paint their palette over, but I don't really want to just paint right over the um, coating that they have for this new wave palette <clears throat> so I'm not I don't think that it really stained it as dark as I was expecting but I basically wiped it off 
Um, also, we're going to see how much lifts off if I use like a Gamsol paint thinner. So I would say basically lifted close to everything once I used the cams off. So that was an interesting test. But basically if I use the thinner, I could probably just maintain the exact color. Um, but I will most likely try to just mix all of this together at the end of my paint sessions, like just a thin coat and uh, see what kind of neutral color eventually comes out of it and uh, that's probably what I'm going to end up doing. <laughs>